countless posts has spread misinformation, encouraged parents to refuse routine vaccinations for their children, which you just heard, by the way, and even con- compared our pandemic efforts responses to the Holocaust. I want to just actually read something which is in the public record. I'm not um, uh, saying anything that's not in the public record. Uh, that a member of this committee actually said, the same person that is actually attacking vaccines, said that vaccinated employees get a a vaccination logo just like the Nazis forced Jewish people to wear a gold star. I want to read that uh, again. Vaccinated employees get a vaccination logo just like the Nazis forced Jewish people to wear a gold star. Uh, That is the level of uh, insanity and attacks that we are having here as we actually debate the the lives saved around vaccinations. Now, this same member has also held shadow public hearings promoting ideas that COVID is a bioweapon to target people of specific races and that vaccines, and I quote, cause turbo cancers. I have so much more to show you where that came from, but the context is the House is holding a hearing on the COVID-19 vaccines, a chance for Republicans to push a bunch of conspiratorial nonsense and inaccurate information about the vaccine, while the experts at the committee and also Democrats attempt to correct the record the best that they can. And as has become pretty typical now in these public hearings, Democrats like Robert Garcia that you just heard from just casually and precisely humiliate Marjorie Taylor Greene and often other MAGA Republicans, Uh, which listen, we can't stop Republicans from holding all of these hearings on Hunter Biden and vaccines, impeaching Alejandro Mayorkas and meanwhile refusing to accomplish real things for the american people so the best we can get a consolation prize as long as they're in the majority is great moments from democrats calling out the absurdity again of people like marjorie taylor green with that being said quickly here is marjorie's big mic drop moment and i'm not a doctor but i have a phd in recognizing bullshit when i hear it wow nailed it (laughs) Then she goes on to spew her normal stuff, but I want to save you the the torture on that. And then before playing this next really good moment from Robert Garcia, I was wondering when I was watching these clips, what do MAGA Republicans think this is accomplishing? What are they hoping to achieve here? It's like they want to be remembered in history as opposing every single good thing they possibly could um, in this clip on an expert estimating how many lives have been saved because of the COVID-19 vaccine, that's going to be its legacy. No doubt. I guess a tiny bit of doubt if MAGA is successful in rewriting history, but otherwise that's going to be its legacy. So then MAGA will just be remembered as that insane movement that did everything they possibly could to prevent this life-saving thing from being trusted and then hopefully went on to be defeated so many times they drifted into political relevance. Hopefully that's how the next few years plays out. Um, And MAGA has gone so crazy on this that even Trump doesn't understand it. As we've seen, he kept trying to take credit for the vaccine because he realized how incredible it was and then had to stop because he would get booed at his own rallies. That's how wild MAGA has gone. Even the founder of MAGA, was a little bit confused as to how crazy they were. But holding hearings like this, where Marjorie's screaming at experts about what she read and the deep, dark, dark depths of Twitter, is not a good look, I'd say, for the GOP. And is only exciting people who are already full MAGA. But it's repelling any normal, moderate people that you want to win over. Very strange. Here's uh, Robert Garcia right after Marjorie Green spoke, apologizing to the witnesses in the room for what they had to observe. It's time to be honest about the vaccine injured. And we need to stop allowing these COVID-19 vaccines to be given Gentle out ladies, to children. The lady's time has expired. I now recognize Mr. Garcia from California for five minutes of questions. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'm sorry you all had to go through that. That was a lot of uh, conspiracy theories and wild accusations, uh, which we now have been uh, debunked by by medical science. And we should be clear that vaccines work and save lives, and they have millions of lives in this country. Now, it's really... Then here's more of his brutal takedown of Marjorie and his interactions also with a witness as they try to decipher the wild past remarks of MTG on vaccines. 
I want, I want to read you this, this quote, and, and it's in the, again in the public record at, at a hearing. Um, have the COVID vaccines resulted in an increase in cancers, and are turbo cancers real? Now, Mr. Chairman, this is, um, in my opinion, just uh, insanity. Uh, we know that's not the case. Dr. Marks, can you clarify once again for the American people, do the COVID vaccines cause turbo cancers? I'm a hematologist, oncology that, oncologist that's board certified. I don't know what a turbo cancer is. It was a term that was used first in a paper uh, in mouse experiments describing an inflammatory response. There are, there, we have not detected any increase in cancers uh, with the COVID-19 vaccines. Thank you. And I, and I, I thank you for, for correcting but, the record. May, may I just add something here? I do need to apologize to the thousand or so parents of children who are under four years of age, who have died of COVID-19, who were unvaccinated, um, because there were deaths and are continuing to be deaths in children. And that is the reason why they need to get vaccinated. Thank you. And I agree with you. Uh, 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 uh. And by the way, the smug look on Marjorie Green's face every time the camera cuts to her is really aggravating, to say the least. Now, of course, anytime someone is spreading debunked and just factually incorrect information is really irritating by itself and worthy of condemnation. But especially when that information is actively getting people hurt, as the witness mentioned there with children and because of this bizarre obsession with anti-COVID vaccine theories, people more generally are becoming unjustifiably skeptical of other vaccines as well. And so this causes disease to spread that we've had under control thanks to vaccines and really hurt people. So this matters for Marjorie may just be a way to get attention and right wing media, some clips to go viral on rumble or whatever, and rile up the base against the horrible deep state Democrats or whatever it might be. But to the families and friends of those who are not alive today because of medical misinformation, it means a lot more. Here's the same FDA expert, Peter Marks, testifying to the estimation that the COVID-19 vaccines have saved 3.2 million lives in the United States and 14 million worldwide. Um, <clears throat> Dr. Marks, you said a, a moment ago that the vaccine booster alone saved hundreds of thousands of lives. Um, how many lives have been saved by the COVID-19 vaccine generally? Uh, it's estimated about, in the United States, about 3.2 million uh, lives, and it's estimated that globally COVID-19 vaccines have saved over 14 million lives, conservatively. I mean, 14 million people, 3.2 million Americans are alive today, estimated, who may not have been if it weren't for the vaccine. And the fact that someone as uninformed, I'll say, the kindest word I can think of, as Marjorie Green, the fact that she would have the nerve to go into this hearing and you know she's basing this off of some article from vaccines kill people magaman.com or something and then taking that and proudly spreading it as fact. And some people find her compelling in the MAGA world and are convinced by her rants and all of the all the things she said about vaccines. And again, it's getting people hurt. And she is so self-absorbed that she thinks, no, no, no. I've figured it out because of some account on Twitter better than, and I know better than all of these experts who spent their entire life studying this very subject. But I saw a really interesting meme. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. You can become a member at LukeBeasleyShow.com slash membership.